The quickest way to get from one side of the world to another is by airplane. The shortest distance between two points is a straight line. So if I need to get from San Francisco to say Tokyo approximately at the same latitude, I just need to fly straight west, right? But then why does Flight Radar 24 tell me that this airplane took a route towards Alaska to get to Japan? Here is another example. Let's suppose we are trying to fly from Los Angeles to Dubai. What countries would I be flying over? Would it include Egypt and Spain? Once again, Flight Radar says otherwise. While some of the path is due to airspace and air currents, the real reason is that what you see as a two-dimensional map is a projection of a three-dimensional sphere. Here is a demonstration using Google Earth. Let's start in San Francisco. We will also turn on three dimensional controls. Let's orient ourselves. And remember, you can always restart by clicking on the compass button to set north up on your screen. Let's rotate our view until we are facing straight west. And let's start flying at high speeds. Notice that as I'm going in a straight line, the compass no longer agrees because I am changing my orientation due to the fact that I'm flying over a curved surface. Notice that instead of Japan, I ended up in New Guinea. Instead, I'm going to orient my direction towards Alaska. And start flying and let's see where we end up. And we are already 
at the northernmost island of Japan. Let's try that now for Los Angeles versus Dubai. Again, if I were to just orient myself straight west and started flying, notice that as I fly straight, the orientation no longer agrees with the straight easterly direction if I were to follow just the latitude line. In fact, I ended up in Botswana. To get to Dubai, according to the flight map, I need to orient myself just a bit east of north and then start flying straight. I am now crossing Greenland, flying over Sweden and Estonia, I have now arrived at the Arabian Peninsula and Dubai is right there. A straight line on a curved surface does not follow latitudes necessarily. The shortest way to get from one place to another might be through higher latitudes.